Well, hello there. It certainly has been about a month since I last uploaded. But that was because, um, I've been kind of like playing another game called Destiny 2 a little more than I have been playing Siege. And since I haven't been playing Siege a lot, you could probably imagine that my video upload schedule wouldn't be uh, the greatest. Yeah, I haven't uploaded for a month and it's because of Destiny 2. So, a new DLC just came out at the same time as Season. What was it? Four? Yeah, that's season four for Siege. And it came out, and, well, I kind of like Destiny 2 a little more, so I've been playing that more. But, um, let's get into this very cool video that I've been re recording for about an entire month now. But, yeah, oh, well, I've been away for so long that there's dust on my recording equipment. <laughs> okay. So, as you can kind of see, this is a pretty easy thing to do. I should probably turn my other TV off. Now, as you see, you can't see them, aside from the little paper version of them, and I like to call this the Paper Stanley glitch. But, um, as you see, I'm shooting where his body should be, and he's not taking damage, and I'm shooting where his body is, and he's not taking damage. Now the only way to actually kill him, I will show you soon here I believe, is by shooting him in the left foot or the right knee. But as you can see, if you were coming down these stairs, all you would see is a shotgun and just a little bit of his body, but I mean, you still can't shoot at him from up there. Now I think I show. Oh wait, no I don't. Well I guess we'll just figure it out as we go, won't we? So. Of course, grenades um, grenades will still kill him. So if you're not Jaeger or don't have a Jaeger, then you kind of gotta watch out for this. Like if the enemies know that you're in this spot, then yeah, you just gotta make sure they don't throw grenades at you, and hopefully all will be well. But as you see here, explosives definitely do kill, and to make them fly. So uh, now I'll actually show you how to do it, now that you've seen what it can do. So, um, all you have to do is come up against this corner stair right here. You see how I'm really shooting at that corner right there? That's the corner you have to step on. So you see how I'm, like, I should be on it on my screen, but I'm not on it? That's where you gotta be, so, like, you don't actually get lifted up by the stair, but you're on the stair. You see right there? Now all you gotta do is look up the stairs from here and you'll be able to um, be invisible. Now to know if you're invisible or not, I like to use this little like wooden area to like kind of remind me that I'm in it. Now, I hate to admit it, but I've used this glitch every single time I've played on this map because it's just so fun to do. And if you're looking in that area, I was just looking, and also you'll be invisible, and somewhere in this direction you can also be invisible. I'm not sure the exact direction in towards the other door, but yeah. So, as you see here, um, my friend will eventually get kicked for inactivity, and you'll see the kill cam showing that I am invisible. Yeah, see, look, I was completely invisible aside from my gun. But, um, that'll be it for this video. That's all this video is. It's just a quick little how to do that. So, if you like this glitch, if you think it's going to be game breaking, dislike it because I, you shouldn't be supporting this type of glitch. This is just cancer. And if you do think that it won't, you know absolutely break Oregon since every time I've played Oregon I've always won because of that then drop a like honestly you can you, you just drop a like or a dislike whether you think it's cool or not but um yeah so that'll be it for this video after an entire month mm, farewell